Okay, so we're here with Liz Steven, who's in Munio, Finland, with the uh, other American uh, te girls and team. And uh, Liz just had a spectacular result, uh, landing second on the podium behind Justina Kowalczyk. And uh, Liz, how does it feel to be on the podium uh, in Europe? Oh, it's always a good feeling to be on any podium anywhere, um, no matter what the race is. But uh, being, on, being on one over here is pretty awesome, especially when you're standing next to um, kind of a big name in cross-country skiing of Justina. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you, you know, like when you started on the start line today, was the podium kind of on your mind? Were you thinking that way? Tell us a little bit about the, how that's unfolded. Yeah, um, well, uh, I guess one of my main goals this year um, is to is to get a podium on the World Cup, and so I think of these races as really good practice races, and you never know what's going to happen in the beginning of the season and how the shape's going to be, and it's been a summer away, there's a lot of cobwebs to sweep off, but one of the things I'm, I think is necessary to get a podium finish is to believe that uh, you can get one, um, and so that's kind of a, a big goal of mine is to actually fully commit and believe and um and so today was a good way to practice that for sure you know we were talking about the result and and last year you were you were fifth on up out uh alp Sirmus. and uh you know so the trajectory takes you right onto the podium because you're only a couple of spots away um during the race at some point you must have felt like hey you were right up there and uh, what was going through your mind when, when that when that sort of realization hit you? Um, um, well, I was getting some great splits out there um, from a couple of our coaches and a couple of the other coaches on the side, and that was it was fun because at one point um, Holly Brooks and Justina and I were all tied for second, um, which which I was like, it kind of sends you back. I mean, I've never in my whole life been tied with Justina. It was, I mean, <laughs> not much less, uh, yeah, ended up only a few seconds behind her at the end of the day. So, um, so that was, uh, that was kind of a cool split to get and it gets your, gets your heart rate going up. And, uh, and honestly, like, if you're a positive, something like that, and you're, it's kind of a reassurance, you know, we all know how to race, but it's a reassurance that the race is going how you think it's going, or it reminds you that it's actually going well, even if you don't feel good, like, and it kind of uh, it drives you to push a little bit harder, and um, uh, it instills something positive in you. Also, um, if you're really hurting up a hill or something, you hear a good split, or you hear even a split that can um, you know move you up a couple places from like 50th to 48th when you're first starting out on the World Cup, and it gives you a little motivation that uh, can sometimes get lost in the pain of the moment. So after you guys were, that, you know, were, were tied for second or, or in a race for second, tell us what happened after that that, that ended up putting you second on the podium. <laughs> I don't really know what happened after that. Um, <laughs> was, uh, we were about halfway up the one hill, hill on, the, on the course. Um, and so, I mean, I am definitely, the hills are my strong point, and the, the next... Uh, one and a half k or so, so down to the finish was, um, I, yeah, it was. It, that's that's something I need to really work to work on. It was like kind of a squirrely condition today, and so I just figured skate skate the skate the living daylights out of that downhill and see what happens. And um, don't ski any corners with anything but full on hard skiing, and just see what happens. So I guess that's. <laughs> That's how it went down. <laughs> that's how it, that's how it happened, and you just you just put your heart and soul into it, and uh, and you came up with a with a silver. <laughs> yeah, something like that for sure, or a or a wooden coffee mug, as the case may be, which I'm psyched about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> So, so uh, I mean, obviously a great day for the whole team. I mean, Holly in seventh, Jesse in ninth, and, uh, you know, a real affirmation that, uh, you know, you guys are, are, you know, coming together as a team. And, you know, we saw some great results last year, and now the first sort of uh, season start in Europe, we see some other great results. Um, what's the team energy like in, in uh, you know, going forward into the season? Oh, man. 
I am a part of the best team uh, I've ever been a part of, and, and I'm not talking about results, although those have also been outstanding. Um, but the team chemistry and the atmosphere that we've created on uh, this whole team, um, especially, I mean, we're talking just about the women right now. Uh, we are, this is the most fun and best team I've ever been gotten the chance to be a part of um and the energy is awesome going into the season uh you know we have a relay next weekend in Yalvari to start the year off and uh the last relay we entered we were we had a career best results uh ever for the U.S. um so we're, we're really excited and um I think maybe one of the coolest parts about today uh was the fact that I mean, Keegan wasn't racing, and she was out there cheering. And, you know, Ida wasn't racing, and she was out there taking pictures. And, um, you know, right after I finished, Holly is right there, like, taking pictures and posting things on Facebook and sending a photo to my mom. And, like, and Jessie's there just, like, giving hugs and being all crazy with her ponytail. And, like, I mean, everybody adds something. And it's all, it's something that's so important. And it's all these little things that add up to make an amazing team. You know, you get an email from Sadie who's like back, back in the States doing what she needs to do. And, um, you know, it still feels like she's here. And those are the, that's def, I mean, it is why I race. It is definitely 100% why I race to have a team and a feeling of being a part of a team and creating something and setting goals and going forward. Uh, it is why I ski. It's why I do sports. Um, so, I mean, I'm psyched for the season. We're all psyched for the season. Um, results aside, I mean, we're just fired up to be working on something hard together. So. Yeah, that sounds uh, it sounds great. It, you know, it's, it's great to see some of the photos of you guys horsing around at the finish line or whatever. <laughs> And, and you really have a sense of the camaraderie and, and you know, everybody's pulling towards the same goal. And uh, like you said, the results will come, uh, but it's important yeah. to have a good foundation. And, and uh, I know it's a, it's a long way since Keegan was on her own, and she always makes, you know, uh, some kind of reference to, or often makes a reference to the fact that it's great to have a team. Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, this is a way more fun thing to do with other people. <laughs> so, uh, so... This is a great start for you, great season start. Um, your first uh, podium in Europe, I think. I think, yeah, with the exception of like a, a U23 championship once, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. Basically, I think this is the only European podium, maybe. I think we looked, uh, at, we looked, we checked the results, and we saw you had some podiums in Soldier Hollow, but, uh, you know, not the same field, uh, you know, for sure, and, and not Europe, for sure. Um, so what's your focus? Uh, I guess the relay, of course, next weekend, it, it, it augurs well for that, and we're not sure if Keegan will start, but we'll see. Uh, what else is your focus yeah. for next weekend? Well, there's another um, 10K skate on the docket, so um, I guess that's, that's definitely a focus. Um, but uh, I think just, you know, it's important to um, keep training this time of year and staying healthy and uh, doing all the right things. You know, winter can... Uh, it's another stress on your body, and it's uh, it's easy to get sick this time of year. Um, sure. So, uh, trying to avoid that kind of thing, and um, yeah, just looking forward to meeting up with the rest of the World Cup crew and really getting the season started. That sounds great, Liz. It's it's awesome to see you guys out there performing so well. It's a, an excellent start to the season, and you know Chris Freeman had a great start, and the Canadians have had had a great start as well. So it's great to see the North Americans kicking butt out there. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is awesome to see that, for sure. So thanks, Benjamin. Okay, great. Listen, if you want to put Holly on, I'd love to speak to her. Yeah, for sure. Let me go get her. All the best, Liz.